My favorite sound is my grandchildren's laughter. I wonder how many people don't get to hear that because they don't know they've got a hearing problem. Hi, everybody. This is Hearing Health Wednesday, and Layla Hess is with us from the Open Door Hearing Company, as usual here today. And as I promised last week, I want to talk about the, the different sizes of, of hearing aids and the value of them because you can spend a little, a lot. There's, there's smaller ones, there's all, and ones you can hardly see. It's just, uh, just crazy out there. So can you uh, sort of uh, part the ways for us and give us an idea? Yeah, here I have two different sizes of hearing aids. This is a very strong, powerful one, and most people think about this size. But this is for people who may not even know that they have a hearing loss. And it's quite small. I'll put it on my ear so that you can see how tiny that really is. And size does not, is not the indicator of how expensive a hearing aid is. It's more so um, what you're getting out of the hearing aid compared to where your thresholds are. And I would test your hearing. We would find out exactly where that line is between maybe you hear very well uh, in low pitch sounds, but you don't hear well in high pitch sounds. So I would find that line and find that threshold and only amplify where it's needed. And I can program that the same day for you. But also, I want to want to bring into back into play here uh, something that the very fir our very first get together was that you give people hearing aids to take home and try to see how they work and if it's the right one for them. And I don't think a lot of people do that. Yeah, that's the thing that we do a little bit differently. You can actually get them fit that same day. We have demo models here available that you can take home and try um, in your own environment and find out if it really does provide benefit. And it's not about making your environment louder. It's about making your environment cleaner and crisper so you can hear the short crisp sounds such as S's, F's, TH sounds because you can't yell a P. You have to actually increase that. I can make A, E, I louder, but I can't artificially make S, T, T, you know? That I have to artificially rather make it louder. You can't do it with your own voice. So with more than, uh, you know, almost 50% of people over 20 with a hearing problem, come on down and see Layla and get it checked out here at the Open Door Hearing Company on Lock Street in Hamilton.